Hey everyone, I'm Gunix here, and welcome back to a brand new Godot tutorial here on the channel. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create realistic skyboxes in Godot 4 using just noise. So here's how we're going to do it. So first off, you want to make sure that you have a world environment node in your scene, and then uh, make sure you select it. And then in your inspector menu to the right here, click on environment, and then go down to sky, click here then click on sky again and then with your sky material uh, by default it's usually set to procedural sky material but we're going to be changing this to panorama sky material so now once you've done that just click on panorama and then that should bring down this drop down menu and then where it says panorama empty click here and then go down all the way to the bottom where it says new noise texture 2d so now we're going to be generating some noise so once you do that it should be just completely pink now we want to click onto where it says Noise Texture 2D and then uh, where it says Noise Empty click on here then go New Fast Noise Light and then boom now we have some noise generated. So see how we have this massive seam in our skybox? We obviously don't want this so select Seamless and now there is no seam in our skybox it's completely seamless. So to get the right color for our skybox, what we're going to do is uh, where it says color ramp empty, we're going to select here, go new gradient, and now we're going to be changing up the colors of our skybox. So click onto the gradient, and what I like to do first is I like to click onto the black here, and I like to make this the color of our sky. So the color of the sky, I want it to be blue. So something like this. And as you can see, it's already starting to look like a proper sky now. I mean, it already does. So, yeah, here we have it, guys. This is pretty much how you make a simple, realistic-looking sky in Godot 4 using noise. And uh, you can change up the end color as well if you want to. I usually like to change it so then it blends in with the sky color a bit. So something like this. Now I think that looks a bit more convincing there, actually. But yeah, so you can just change up this color value however you like, and boom. So now we've pretty much got a seamless, realistic, basic looking skybox in Godot 4, just simply using noise. You can also change the width and height of it as well if you want your skybox to be higher quality. So instead of it being 512 by 512, it's now 1024 by 1024. If you go into the fast noise light, as well. You can actually change certain settings like the noise type, so you can change it to Perlin for example, so then you've got some Perlin noise. Or you can change it back to sim Simplex Smooth or Cellular. You know, you can play around with it however you like to get whatever sort of cloud style you like. And you can even change the seed as well, so you can simply just change the seed to whatever you like to get whatever sort of look and sky you want. Alrighty, so that there is how to make a realistic skybox in Godot just using noise. But this video isn't over yet since there's another way I want to show you guys of doing this as well, since this isn't the only way. So what we're going to do now is we are going to get rid of this panorama sky material, and now we're going to set it back to the procedural sky material. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the sky completely default as it is. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to where it says Sky here, so make sure that you do select on your procedural sky material to bring down this menu. Then click on Sky, and then where it says Cover, uh, you want to click on Empty, and then New Noise Texture 2D. So now we're going to be generating a cover in our procedural sky. So if you want to know what a cover is, you can actually just hover over the property here and it explains it to you. So if we look towards the bottom of this uh, pop-up that pops up when we hover over the cover property, uh, towards the bottom it says this is mainly suited to displaying stars at night, but it can also be used to display clouds at day or night. So yeah, we can actually use the cover in order to display clouds, which is what we're going to be doing. So with our new noise texture that we've just generated, we're going to go into it and then uh, make sure you go to where it says noise empty, new fast noise light, and boom! Now we have our new noise. So again, uh, see how we have the seam? You guys should remember now to select seamless and that makes our sky completely seamless. So now we want to select the color ramp since we want to set the color for the sky. 
And then what I like to do here is where it's black, I like to make this completely transparent and boom. Now we have our cloud set in the sky. So pretty much the cover in uh, the procedural sky material is very good for displaying things like stars and clouds. And uh, if you want to, you can also change up this uh, end one here as well, depending on uh, how visible you want your clouds to be in the sky. So you can change up the, uh, the opacity here. And again, there is the same uh, sort of settings like there was with the panorama sky material as well. So you can change the noise type if you want to, all that sort of stuff. Let's make our clouds more visible again. There we go. So yeah, anyways guys, that's the end of this tutorial. If you did enjoy, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Hopefully this helped you out with being able to create a simple, realistic looking skybox just using noise in Godot 4. It is really cool how Godot does provide a feature for people to just, you know, generate noise. I think that's really cool. And uh, yeah, it allows cool things like this for us to uh, add clouds to our procedural skies or for us to just generate completely new skies uh, from scratch uh, using the panorama sky material and noise together. But yeah, so anyways guys, that's the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you all did enjoy, hopefully you all learned something, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye